Next news is out of London. A Muslim woman's niqab is ripped off as she's beaten in the London street in front of her horrified children. So sad. So a Muslim woman uh, was walking with her niqab and her children, um, and she was repeatedly punched in the face by a woman who tried tearing uh, her clothes off of her. Um, the attacker was shouting, go back to your country. Why are you wearing this? Uh, the police tweeted out that the police are aware of the incident uh, where a lady was assaulted and her headscarf pulled off. The female believed responsible had been arrested and police are still investigating. Additional pr- patrols are in place. These, these kids are scarred for life, aren't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my God! Imagine uh, that is, that is the the best way to reinforce to children that they are uh, indeed hated by the people in the country in which they live. I, I think it's sick what that woman did uh, by pulling off this woman's niqab um, and punching her in the face repeatedly in front of her children. Was she made? Uh, she she traumatized people who are going to grow up and remember this incident forever i remember actually seeing my dad uh, somebody getting into a fight with my dad at one point and that was really emotionally like i was a kid and emotionally that was that was really bad but i, I can't imagine if i saw somebody beat up my mom and i'm a kid holy shit that 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 is damaging to your to a kid's mind for for a very very long time but what the fuck do these people think? Like, I mean, even if you hate Islam, and uh, e- even if you actually go beyond hating Islam, and you actually turn into a bigot, and you hate Muslims, right? I mean, then what do you think is going to happen when you beat, take someone's hijab off by force and start beating them? Like, what what is the end goal here? I don't even understand. Like, if, Does she really think that by punching her in front of her children, the woman's going to be so scared she's just going to tuck tail and run home? She is home. Right. Uh, that, this, that that's where she is. She's home. Yeah, but but okay, but if if you want to be a bigot, at least be a strategic bigot. Like, what the fuck? Right. Is, right. I mean, what is this gonna do? I don't even understand. Like, what is the like? I don't even understand what. Ah, anyways, um, yeah, but is there, look at the top comments. Says, see, uh, here's what I do. Like, this is subtle, a little bit subtle, subtle version of, you know, bigotry. I don't know. Maybe I'm det- seeing something that is not there. Eric is saying, I had to find out if the beating was done by strangers or her husband because the title was vague and there was always a high likelihood of either scenario. Like, what? What? The, what? Like, you know, I think, where does it suggest that there was a husband? Um, I guess she's one of those commenters who only read the title and they refuse to open an article and find out what it's about. It says Muslim woman's niqab is ripped off as she's beaten in a London street in front of her horrified children. It doesn't say woman on woman or anything like that. So I guess she just couldn't be bothered to click on an article and read. So she had to make a comment. Well, yeah, I mean, it's Eric. So I think it's a guy, but I think you're right. I mean, I think people try to... When people like are so anti-Muslim, again, we are we are anti-Islam, okay? But when people are anti-Muslim and you point, you bring up a story that sh- shows that a Muslim person was like mistreated or abused, they always want to, their comment is bringing attention away from the story and trying to bring attention to Muslims being um uh, oppressors or doing bad things like so for example i think what this comment is trying to do when we're trying to bring attention to a muslim being mistreated is to remind you that you know a lot of muslim men beat their wives you know what i mean like completely miss the point and try like it's kind of like a subtle what about them without actually saying it do you know what i mean i think absolutely i think that's what's going on here um somebody else saying wish i was there no way i would have stood back and just watched well that's good um this is a long comment so i'm not going to read it ben is saying the kids are probably used used it because their dad does that at home all the time holy shit wow i didn't okay you have no idea ben what you're talking about you don't know these people you don't know how they live and you know instead of like look, look at these people okay again this is this guy has a top fan badge on the Atheist Republic. So this guy is the uh, one of our top fans, and this is what they're saying. Okay, 
Again, look, look, we're bringing attention to problems within our, within our own community. Ben is the per- type of person that looks at a story when a Muslim woman is being beaten up for her hijab and he's and he instead of thinking like, oh wow, this is horrible, poor woman, the poor children, he thinks like, I'm going to bring attention to the fact that, oh, I think, you know, I'm going to just make an assumption about these people. They're like, well, they, she's used to it because... You know, Muslim men. First of all, this is not true. Okay, first, Islam promotes wife beating. We don't deny that. But most Muslim men are better than Islam. Okay, most Muslim men don't beat their wives. Okay, most Muslim men don't beat their don't beat their wives. So you're wrong about that. And you're just trying to take attention away from a horrific crime because you're so bigoted that every everything about Muslims has to be a negative story about, against the Muslims. And you cannot tolerate any, any other form of a story. So it's like, what, what's wrong with you? Let me see if there's somebody com- commenting on this. Uh, Tommy is agreeing. No, there's no decent comment responding to it. Raphael is saying, just wondering what is so funny for the 52 people and persons in this group. I thought it was a group of for atheists, not for morons with no empathy. Well, that's okay. So I appreciate Raphael not being um, in favor of this, but we always say atheists. We don't think atheists are better than other people. We what we advocate is that atheists are just like they're not inferior to other people. So everybody that says, "Oh, oh, I, th- I thought atheists were supposed to be." this or that well you assume drunk so one reason why we don't ban these people from the page is so that you don't is so that you don't think so that you see that atheists could be assholes and bigots as well but you know so let's see the reactions uh we got 126 laughing reactions but we also got 624 angry reactions right so let's be fair here we got 624 angry reactions I mean, it's still very bad that you got 126 laughing reactions, but don't make it, when you say, oh, I thought, I didn't know, what was the comment? Let's go look at the comment again. See, this is a misrepresentation of what's happening. Say, I thought it was a group for atheists, not for morons with no empathy. Really? So what about the angry reactions? Like, you just assume now the entire group is like those morons that are laughing at this? Over generalization here. Okay, I don't know what do you. Think I'm here? I'm personally bothered by those eleven heart reactions. Like, mm. who gave this a heart reaction? Well, don't, we don't know what they're hearting, yes. so that's why I let those kind of uh, slide away. Is we don't know. We don't know if they're hearting the fact that you know the police have arrested the woman. Maybe they read the whole article and they left the article feeling like, well, good. You know, um, we don't know. So yeah, or maybe some people like uh, hiding the fact that Atheist Republic is sharing um, uh, you know, a story about the fact no that, uh, that Muslims are oppressed. Like people like so yeah, so yeah, the hard comment could be uh, the hard reaction could be anything. You're like, oh wow, Atheist Republic actually is not always uh, take you know anti-Muslim. In fact, it's defending Muslims against abuse. So they might be hiding that. So we don't know what that is, but the laughing reaction is definitely something that like what the fuck what is this right um anyways anything that we need to read in the in the uh, comment in the live stream comment section there, there was a comment me, yeah? that was made that was terrible in our live stream but it doesn't have anything to do with our news broadcast so i'm just gonna leave it um okay. but no I, I don't i don't agree with noblasi saying that muslims have no business being in europe um, I believe that. Well, nah, not. Well, that's. Not. Well, I mean, that's. That's highly disagree. Just I wanted mean, to throw that out there. Yeah, I mean, European value. Uh, well, European Enlightenment values disagree with that. So, I mean, you, if you believe that, you're betraying Enlightenment values from Europe. Right? Yeah. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. 
we have built a global community and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.